Hey guys, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. I want to give you some additional thoughts about the Vutron LPR camera that I installed at my house last week. And now that I've had it running for about a week, I want to talk a little bit more about the results. So here's a quick uh, recap. I installed one of our Vutron LPR cameras. Uh, you can see it behind me there above my garage. And my intent was to show uh, viewers the limitations of license plate recognition uh, when you're trying to perform LPR operations at like an extreme angle, both, both height and the uh, vertical angle, as, or sorry, the horizontal angle as well. Um, my house is set back 35 feet from the road. Actually, the last video I said it was 30. It's actually 35. So this is kind of an extreme angle that we wouldn't recommend uh, to install an LPR camera. But it, we get a ton of uh, homeowners that need some type of solution. So I wanted to bring it home and test it myself. Again, my intent was to show the limitations and I thought it wasn't going to work at all, but it worked really well. However, something that I noticed now I'm re that I'm reviewing more of the footage and doing more testing. First of all, let me explain a couple differences in terminology here. Uh, light, automatic license plate recognition is the software on that camera and our Vutron MVRs that can automatically identify the license plate numbers and letters on a plate. That's, that's LPR or ALPR, automatic license plate recognition. However, LPC, or license plate capture, is the ability to capture video clear enough so that a human can go back and review recorded video surveillance footage and a human can identify the numbers and letters on a plate. So that camera is focused in about 110 feet from where it's mounted to the license plate recognition zone. That's outside of the range that we recommend for license plate recognition. However, it's doing amazing for license plate capture and it's sometimes doing the automatic license plate recognition, actually fairly often. So uh, I, a couple things, being that it's not automatically recognizing the plates all the time, what I did was I set up that Vutron uh, camera that you see behind me that is a AI security camera that can detect vehicles. I set up an intrusion zone out here in front of my house so that anytime a car passes by, it'll record both on that camera and the LPR camera and bookmark that event. So why did I do that? If the LPR camera is not going to automatically recognize a plate and bookmark that event, I wanted to be able to still go back and easily identify all the times that a, a, a car passed by and passed through the detection zone so that I could manually go back and review the footage. So let's log into the DVR. I want to show you how I set up uh, the LPR camera real quick and set up the, that, we'll call that an overview camera. Uh, although it's not looking at the exact spot where the LPR camera is, it's going to trigger recording on the camera. And more importantly, it's going to bookmark all the events. So I'm going to show you how I configured everything. And then we'll go through a couple of demos of how it works. So here we are now on the Vutron NVR and that camera you see in the upper right, that's the Vutron LPR camera and the camera in the lower left is the 4K resolution AI camera. So I'm going to go in here and select settings and then from this menu I'm going to click LPR. On the LPR configuration screen, I just wanted to show you the license plate detection zone uh, that I have set up here and that in addition to detecting plates, we also have the automated number plate recognition set up. But as I mentioned, that's not always going to work at this distance and angle. So we're going to go over to the, uh, I'll come in and call it an overview camera, and I'm going to show you the intrusion detection that I set up. So there's the view of, the, of my front yard, and I have that rectangle set up to detect any cars uh, that pass through that zone. So motor vehicle is checked, and then the trigger mode, the action that the NVR is going to take is, I have it set up to trigger recording both on uh, the, the, the AI camera and the Vutron LPR camera. So it's going to trigger recording on both, and in addition to triggering the recording, it bookmarks all those recorded events. So I'm going to exit back out here, and then I'm going to go into the full view of the LPR camera, 
and do some video playback. And I do that by selecting uh, playback from the menu in the lower left. And then the, uh, the recorded video player opens. You can see video playback starts. And then notice this timeline over here on the right. The continuous recording is notated in the dark blue. And all those ticks that tick marks that you see in the light blue, those are the uh, vehicle object detection events. So I'm going to jump to one right here and rewind it a bit. And so this is a case where uh, the automated license plate recognition software did not detect the plate. Again, that's expected at this distance and angle. Uh, but you'll see that, that the, the vehicle was detected. You could see that in the blue. So I'm going to pause there and zoom in. And then you could see the license plate capture, which, which is the ability to read those plates clearly when you're reviewing the recorded video footage. So next, let's let's jump to another event. We're going to scroll down the timeline a little ways and, and select another one of the vehicle object detection events on the timeline. We'll select this one here. And again, the, the video player is going to jump to that moment of video recording. So you can see this, this truck uh, passed through the vehicle detection zone. And then there's the view on the LPR camera. And then I looked at this before. There's another car that comes right behind this one. So this was two cars were captured in the same event. Uh, we'll zoom in on this one and you can see the plate pretty clearly right there. So when, when I'm done, uh, I'll just pause the video here. But when, when, you, when you're done playing back the video, you can close it by clicking on that X in the lower right. And then if I want to switch back, uh, this is the live view. If I want to switch back to a multi-camera view, I could do that from the menu down at the bottom of the screen. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Here's the big takeaway for me. Um, CCTV Camera Pros is gonna leave in place our, our existing recommendations for that views from LPR camera for automatic license plate recognition. The ability, the ability to automatically detect a plate and identif identify the numbers and letters on the plate automatically. Um, we already have a detailed installation guide of the, the maximum angles that we recommend and the 80 foot distance that that camera is limited to. I think we're gonna leave that in place. However, I wanna make it clear to customers that for license plate capture, when a, a human being able to go back and review the video footage and, and look at the license plates manually, you can mount that camera obviously at much more extreme angles than what we recommend for license plate recognition and much greater distances. Uh, some of my testing, um, I was picking up plates 140 feet away and we only recommend that camera up to a maximum of 80 feet for license plate recognition. So uh, the purpose of this video is to make that clear. For automatic license plate recognition, we're sticking by all of our existing recommendations, but for license plate capture, which for most people that's even more important, um, we could be a little bit more lenient on what's recommended with the angles and the distances. Guys, if you have any questions about this video or about LPR cameras or anything related to security camera systems in general, you can always email me directly at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you want to learn more about our Vutron LPR camera systems and see additional demo videos, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash LPR. Thank you for watching.